What's up YouTube? Jeff Lewis here. It's a beautiful day in Little Rock, Arkansas. Today, I want to continue on with ground strokes. This tennis tip is going to be about the forehand and backhand ground stroke. Now, I don't think you have to do things because the pros do them. But when almost every single pro prepares with unit turn, we might want to look at that. Actually, it's okay to look at pros for fundamentals. They do things very efficiently. Now, maybe we can't do things as fast and as hard as they can, but we can copy their unit turn if all of them are doing it. So, fundamental is something that's done on every single forehand and backhand they hit. I'll try to prove it to you. Check out this compilation of multiple different forehands from Roger Federer. Outside in, inside out, swinging slow, swinging fast, return a serve, full stretch. You'll see, on all of them, he has unit turn. You might think you have the unit turn, then make sure you don't have one of these other characters. Make sure you're not the straight back, or maybe you're the little dipper. Maybe you're the excessive loop, or maybe you're the ninja. Or maybe you're the subscriber. Click the button. What you want to do is just turn, both for the forehand and the backhand. Keep it simple, it's faster, it's efficient, and there's three very important reasons. Power, downswing makes the upswing. Disguising a drop shot. And options to take a ball out of the air or block a big serve back. But keep these things in mind, even on this simple turn. If you're someone who plays with a semi-western or more extreme western grip, in order to take advantage of having those options, consider waiting with an eastern forehand grip and then changing your grip as you turn for a forehand when you know you're going to be able to take the full swing at it. Also, watch this move when I prepare for my two-handed or one-handed backhand. All I'm gonna do is open up my right hand and push both palms down 45 degrees. That's gonna straighten my right arm and immediately change my grip. That fast move is all you have to do before you turn to be ready for a backhand. That's the move right there. All right, lastly, when turning for the forehand, try to make space between the elbow and the body. When you lead with the elbow back, lifting it off of your body, it's going to help shorten the backswing and also give you a little more momentum into the drop. There's a lot of things you need a tennis court and actually striking a ball to work on. Like that last tip I gave, link in the description, very important. But for this, you don't need anything other than a tennis racket and a little bit of space. Go pick up your racket right now. Go get it, find some space, and just practice waiting in your ready position and unit turn. If you have a western grip or a semi-western grip, practice waiting eastern and changing the grip as you turn. Remember to have space between the elbow and the body. That's just like that. You can just practice this watching TV. Boom. Both palms down, open the right hand. Right arm straightens. Boom. You're ready for your forehand or your backhand ground stroke. Go pick up your racket. Work on it. Practice it. You're going to be better for it. If you found value in the video, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, be sure to follow my other project. I'm doing Victory Tennis Programs. We're giving free instruction to communities, communities that might otherwise not have it. Link in the description. Please subscribe to that channel as well. Thank you for your support. I'll see you again soon.